Hello everyone, in this chapter we're going to be talking about work and energy kinetics. Uh, so work and energy kinetics obviously depends on the concepts of work and energy. So work is essentially the, a force exerted over some distance, uh, and energy in uh, engineering, we're going to break that down into uh, kinetic energy and potential energy that we're going to deal with. So we put those two things together uh, in the equation that is known as the conservation of energy equation. So the conservation of energy for a single particle states that the work done to the particle is going to be equal to the change in energy of that particle. Uh, so we can apply this to a single particle, uh, or we can build on that and apply the conservation of energy to a whole system of particles in any one system. Um, and all of this, so energy is going to obviously relate to velocity with our kinetic energy, and work relates to forces. So anywhere we have that kind of situation, we can also pull in our particle kinematics like we talked about earlier to relate those velocities to position, velocity, acceleration that we had in kinematics. Some other topics that are usually talked about with work and energy are the concepts of power, uh, which is going to be the power is defined as the rate at which we are doing work, uh, which is consequently going to be the rate at which the energy is changing, uh, or the concept of efficiency, which is going to be the amount of work that makes it from input to output, uh, at least the amount of useful work that makes it from input to output without being lost to things like friction. Uh, or the amount of energy that is conserved from the input to the output of some system. Uh, and those are mathematically going to be the same because of conservation of energy. Uh, so those are our, the topics in our chapter. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.